Welcome to Charleston Parents Connect. I am Danica Todd. I am a certified doula, licensed massage therapist, certified yoga and Pilates instructor. It is my intention through sharing content and creating community to transform your relationships, inspire connection, and lead communities to live unapologetically. Today, I'm going to share a story about my pregnancy with Harper Morgan. We're gonna talk about our relaxing hormone, tendons and ligaments, and then I'm gonna invite you to subscribe to my email list so you can easily resource information just like this video. I'm also going to invite you to join a free parenting group on Facebook so we can start building our community of diverse, unapologetic parents coexisting in respectful harmony. Does that sound good? Awesome. So let's get to it. I love being a mother of three. You know that saying, mama had a baby and their head popped off? That's how hard I want to squeeze them because I love them so much. But when I got pregnant with Harper Morgan, I was shocked at how hard it was. I vomited every single day, guys, from nine weeks until the day she was born on her due date at 40 weeks. I needed physical therapy for the pain in my pelvis. Um, it was the back of my pelvis called my sacrum and I had severe reflux. And I didn't experience reflux at all with my first two pregnancies. I couldn't understand why all this was happening. And as a mom of two already, and as a doula, you would think I would have been able to figure all of this stuff out, right? Like I was, should have had the tools, the information. I felt miserable, guys. I was downright pathetic, actually. <laughs> And I'm surprised my marriage survived that pregnancy, to be honest. It was ugly, y'all. Downright, U-G-L-Y, ugly. And to give a little TMI, the hemorrhoids that never went away from Macy's birth, it's a miracle Harper ever made it into this world. And I'm not going to lie to you. The past 18 months of her life have been hard. I'm experiencing postpartum depression that was triggered from weaning her from breastfeeding at nine months. I can't lose the baby weight this time. Hell, I actually gained weight and way more than I did when I gave birth to her. My body literally feels like it is falling apart. I'm sick more often. I sleep less and I don't feel healthy. The biggest positive turning point though of all of this in the last two and a half years has been my ability to at least recognize when I can take steps to lessen the pain of being pregnant and giving birth in that postpartum period. So this is what I've discovered. It isn't getting pregnant again that causes all of these issues we always hear about, it's when you get pregnant again. See, my first two were seven years apart. And when I got pregnant with Harper 17 months after Macy, my body hadn't fully recovered before it had to go through that whole process all over again. All that pain, the vomiting, the reflux, that could have been significantly reduced had I waited a little longer before I got pregnant again. See, we create a hormone called relaxin in our ovaries when we get pregnant in order to soften and lengthen the pubic symphysis. Um, that's located um, in the center of your pubic bone and to um, soften and lengthen our cervix. The hormone also softens and relaxes the muscles, tendons, and ligaments throughout our whole body. It would be really awesome if we could isolate it just to the parts we need to give birth, but that's not how our body works. So this means that you could experience pesky side effects. So let's look at those. So some of those side effects that you could experience are things like morning sickness, acid reflux, heartburn, or constipation when the smooth muscles of your stomach and your intestines relax 
See, that slows down the entire GI process, makes it really sluggish, and that's how you get those side effects. You could also experience nerve pain like sciatica or in your hip or carpal tunnel. Those are some popular common areas, but it could be anywhere in your body. And that happens when relaxed muscles and joints literally get on your nerves. You could also dislocate a joint by overstretching while you are extremely mobile and don't have the stability to keep your joints safe. And then you could, you're at an increased risk of falling. Why? Well, along with your growing and shifting, shifting baby bump, your core muscles themselves are relaxed, so you don't have the stability in your core either. So the first thing you need to do is take a deep breath and give yourself time and grace. It's going to take a minimum of six months after you give birth for that relaxing hormone to completely leave your body. And if you're breastfeeding, it will stay in your body until you stop nursing. It also takes 18 months for your tendons and ligaments to return to their original length and strength after you have a vaginal delivery. So even if you are formula feeding or you stop breastfeeding at six months or before that, your body still isn't going to be able to be as stable as before you got pregnant until your baby is 18 months old. What this means is that you can lose the weight, but you may not have the stability and the strength fully back to 100% for a little while. That's another reason why we struggle with another pregnancy cl so close to the first one. Our bodies are literally not stable and back to normal yet. So I don't want you to worry because just because this hormone is making everything a little unstable and extra mobile doesn't mean that we are left with no options. In the meantime, we can use stabilizing exercises like Pilates, water aerobics, and weights to gently stabilize our joints until our bodies are able to get back into our pre-pregnancy shape. So a very common thing that people suggest doing is yoga. Well, yoga is going to stretch you and open you and you're already hypermobile. Your tendons are loose, your ligaments are loose, your muscles are loose. So it might feel good when you're doing it, but afterwards, if you're finding that you're really sore, you're having nerve pain, that means that you are over stretching your body, which is already loosey goosey. So I love yoga first, but when I'm pregnant and postpartum, these are the things I turn to. So Pilates and water aerobics when you're pregnant, Pilates, water aerobics, and weights in the postpartum. So as we close our time together, let's look at everything we learned over just a couple minutes. We talked about how the hormone relaxin works to help you give birth, but causes some pesky side effects along the way. We talked about allowing our bodies grace as we take 18 months to get our tendons and ligaments back into shape. And then don't forget, if you nurse longer than 18 months, it's going to take longer to get back to normal. And we talked about what exercises we can do to help feel better in the meantime. Isn't the human body amazing? Did you find value in what you learned today? I know I did when I learned it. This is the point. I talk about where I was going to invite you to subscribe to my free resources by joining my email list and to join the Facebook group at Charleston Parent Connect and stay connected with other parents just like you. I hope you had a great time today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video coming your way soon. Bye bye. Have a great day.